Julianne Hill is having surgery today, cochlear implant surgery that will open up the world of sound for this profoundly deaf eight-month-old. Julianne is Dr. Audie Woolley's 80th pediatric implant patient, his youngest ever, and one of the youngest children in the nation to have this procedure. This marks the third time Andrea and Steve Hill have placed a child in Dr. Woolley's care. Their older daughter, Jessica, was almost three when she received a cochlear implant at Children's Hospital. Their son, Jared, got his at 18 months. They have a very rare uh, congenital hearing loss in that both parents are normal hearing, but all of the children have been born deaf. During Julianne's two-hour Dr. Woolley makes an incision behind her ear. That's where he will place a receiver. Next, he drills a small hole into the mastoid bone and carefully threads a portion of the implant device down into the cochlea. There, electrodes will directly stimulate the surviving auditory nerve fibers in Julianne's inner ear. Three weeks later, Julianne is back at Children's Hospital. Her speech processor, microphone, and transmitter are in place, and her cochlear implant is ready for testing. There were tears trickling, you know, as she was turned on, and I told her, you know, Julianne, I love you for the first time. I was just so overwhelmed with the, the journey we had been through, you know, how we'd gotten to the point that we were, and with the fact that, you know, Julianne can hear us, and she's hearing us early, she's hearing us well. It's phenomenal. <laughs> You're talking about children whose best hearing, um, without any amplification, no hearing aids, no cochlear implant, is, is somewhere around the decibel range of a chainsaw or a lawnmower. That's what they hear without this technology. Ballerina. With it, they hear birds, they hear music, they can hear the leaves crunch under their feet, they can hear a whisper. Do you want to go for a ride? The most exciting circumstances have always been uh, when they met some new milestone or expectation that previously we just didn't, weren't sure or worried or, or knew that they were going to achieve. We had an experience recently in our church where all the children were going to lead the service and Jessica was asked to do the prayer for the congregation. They were sick at her. Watching her from where we come get up in front of our congregation and a prayer that was uh, well spoken and understood and accepted like any other child uh, after five years was phenomenal. We wanted our children to be able to open the doors of opportunity for themselves and they are on their way to doing that. I think the future is really bright for each and every one of them.